It came out the birth of our, of one of our children, and and it was in the um, end of the sixties. It was um, our son Benji, and he was born in seventy. So we had lived through the sixties, and it was still crazy. It was very similar to the the. Uh, the setting right now in our country, everything was everybody was against everybody. The Vietnam War was had just finished. The country and it was, was very it was divided. Very, very divided. divided. <clears throat> very ugly, and and right there, Watson right, just burned to the ground. Racial and tensions. Russell, racial t- everything was in chaos, and professors were giving LSD to their students as a spiritual <laughs> experience. And we're pregnant now with our third baby. And we looked at each other and said, who in their right mind would bring a baby into this world? If it's like this now, what is this little guy going to have to face in 17, 18, 19 years when he's got to be in that mix? And there were several things that happened um, during during that time, but and the story's too long probably to discuss here. But one of them was we <laughs> we had a little... A frame company, a little office building. And we were so excited that we got to finally pave the parking lot. And it had been gravel and kind of mud. And, but that, that fall, we got to pave it and we watched that process. I really never watched it that close up with the, you know, the big rocks at the bottom. And then these rollers come in and then this smaller stone and the bigger stone and the gravel and the sand. And finally, you know, the tar, the hot tar over all of that. And then more rollers and everything. Okay. So we're all excited. We got this parking lot. Come spring. Bill's quiet dad, who was a tool and die maker at General Motors. And a, and a farmer. And a farmer. He comes in one morning at the office, and he said, come out here a minute. So we followed him outside. He doesn't say much, so, you know, when he does, you just go go with him. So he went out, and he pointed to the the middle of that driveway, that all those layers and that tar and, and that blacktop. He pointed not at the side, in the middle, and he said, look at that. So we looked at that. And in the middle of that blacktop was a little green shoot of a plant. (laughs) And he just turned his back and walked back in the office. (laughs) And so like him. And that, among several other things that happened that year, you know, just made you say, you know, you don't have babies and buy a house and build a yard and build a, a driveway, pave a parking lot, because the world is stable. When has the world ever been stable? <laughs> you have babies and love each other and go on with your life because the resurrection is true. And that, and, and, and we just said, okay, that's what we're going to nail to the wall. Because he lives, we can face tomorrow. And the first verse that we wrote was actually, um, how sweet to hold our newborn baby and feel the pride and joy he gives. But greater still, the calm assurance this child can face uncertain days because he lives. And because he lives, we can face tomorrow. Hi, everybody. This is Jim Lyon, the host of the All That To Say podcast. Thanks for listening. And be sure and follow us, All That To Say, so that you don't miss any of the fearless conversation.